Hello, I am Martin Fanska and welcome to another episode of Let's Try Eratus, Lord of the Dead. So today we'll start with, let's actually start with the level up for the mummy that should be quick as we want to uh, just stack up as much dread as possible. I did some experimenting off camera, I started a new run and uh, basically experimented with um, this setup, what's the ideal, not like... Mm, combination of uh, minions but how to build the minions which stats you want to stack so now i have a better idea of what i want to get as the uh like the uncommon or rare i've never gotten the the legendary but they're like the higher tier materials uh what i want to use where and also which items i want to use so uh it hopefully won't take me as long to always decide how i want to upgrade the minions uh, the, the minions Okay, the next thing that I wanted to do was to... Uh, wait, 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 wait. I wanted to upgrade... No, I didn't want to upgrade anything. I wanted to build or like get the dried... Not dried. Dead leg up and running. We have one minion that doesn't have anything to do, so the mummy will try to get some items for us. I'm thinking maybe we could go for the excavation as well. Can we get the zombie out of normal materials? We can use weapon. I'll just autofill everything. Yeah, that's not what I wanted. Normal, normal, normal. We can. No brain, but all firepower. Okay. Fuse with soul. Now we have to find someone who's gonna work the excavation. What are we doing for now? Working the Eratus statue. You don't really need to do that right now. So for now, we can just do this. The reason, actually, why we don't have to do it is in the next uh, uh, step in the dungeon, we will get all our mana back. But uh, I wanted to check if you maybe have better or better higher level shade somewhere. No. Huh. So probably the top priority will be getting the higher, a higher level for shades. Barely level 3. And that should be our main tank. Let me check. Do we have one extra shade? We don't even have that. Can we get one? We can't. What are we missing? Dust? Yeah, we are missing dust. Okay, hopefully we will solve that before we get to the boss. I now equip the nobleman's garb as we finally uh, have four minions that are level three or higher. And I think now we can uh, keep moving. So let's go for the Fountain of Restoration, which is gonna be mana as this, the only useful thing that we can get. And, and now we want to go this way, definitely want to go through the stealth to get the experience. So, uh, yep, go in. We need as many parts as possible. This is gonna be annoying. Uh, we need as many parts as possible. So that we can get the uncommon ones and upgrade our minions before the boss fight. Uh, let's go for the Speed initiative. <laughs> We're gonna debuff everything or everything, everything that we can, and uh, start stacking up the uh, the wards. Okay, we want uh, probably you to lose the accuracy. Oh, but he, he did, had another ward. What, he had two? He's paying attention, it seems. Um, 
We have to take out this guy. He has the potential to do really a lot of damage. Oh, I can't reach him this way. So let's... Oh, right, yeah, he's standing behind the stupid golem, so... Uh, attacks can be redirected and the golem can't take stress damage. This is actually a pretty annoying setup on their side. Should not be possible to redirect, I think. That is a crit, another crit. What's the buff? Accuracy and extra damage. Um, let's actually move him all the way to the front. I don't want him to hide again behind the golem. I'm even thinking about using the hero mania, although our zombie doesn't have any wards. Uh, I want to be ready for heals. Yeah, this is the... Problem that we may have because when he where is it? Ow. When he explodes, then uh, this could really hurt. So, do we have a way to move him? wouldn't work. I think here I'd rather go. Uh, how, how does it work? Skip stone, then explode. So it's not when he ex when he dies that he explodes. Oh, and this can't be cancelled, so I have to move him. Or kill him. Well, hopefully we... Here's what, 49. That was nice. He should skip the next turn, right? Dead. Oh. This, this way he'll definitely skip the turn. Needs wards. I have a feeling you're gonna need wards here. Mist. Mist. Yeah, and for this, I need the shade in front for the passive skill. Each time an enemy attacks the shade and misses, receives uh, magic damage. That's uh, like the main source of damage against the the golem for this composition. I think we want to get rid of this guy next. It's another major source of damage potentially. It'd be great if he could move back, but I don't want to move back all the way. Maybe we can do it. I really want to have the shed in front. We have shields. Oh, just keep debuffing this guy for now. More wards. Okay, finally we reshuffled everything I 
Okay, healing time. What did he lose? Minus 50 accuracy. I think that by, might be time to start debuffing the golem. What the hell? The chance to hit it should be pretty low. Extinguish hope. I don't want to move forward. I'll just spend some mana here. Extinguish hope. Still not dying. That's very, very unfortunate. Okay. Yes, thirty-five percent. Uh, accuracy shouldn't be hitting that often. One less annoyance in the world. This one will just run away. Sucks that we don't have the don't have the uh, vampire spell yet because you'd use it on him and get a free vampire that way. Okay, healing. And this will now take some time. So, wards. We can move back. This is what we need. Because he missed. And he'll take the magic damage. We need it to be the magic damage because he has 15 armors and normal damage really won't do anything to him. Stress. So yeah, this is not gonna do anything. So we'll just debuff him. What's the buff, by the way? Oh, he has adapt uh, for uh, extra accuracy. Okay, that explains some things. Um, let's heal up this zombie. I need to get rid of those stupid buffs. Uh, this is not gonna do much. I mean, 4 damage is 4 damage. Hopefully now the shade will be the most, never mind, attractive target. Come on, it's, it's injured. You should be attacking there. Uh, we have what? Not enough wrath for what we need. Well. Maybe he's not attacking the shape because we still have uh, uh, two shields. That would make sense. There it 
There we go. This is one of the worst, uh, worst uh, enemies that I've seen so far for this comp, of course, because the thing doesn't have stress or stress sanity. So let's actually. This is a difficult decision. No, I definitely don't want to do that. We can just. Uh, I don't know. Get some more wards for the Banshee. I was thinking about... Oh, now we missed the, the debuff. That is... Pretty bad. Their flesh nice crit. Their Excellent. Okay, good. He missed. This would work, but it just doesn't do damage, so that's not what we're gonna do. I'm waiting for the sudden reality. be another oh come on I would just say there would be another decent hit and we missed come on give me finally the option to steal all the buffs and debuffs because then even the zombie will start hitting for a reasonable amount Please don't miss. There we go. Nice, the nice crit. Yeah. How much are we missing? Five points. Probably shouldn't be using this on the zombie to because it's decreasing the damage. Uh, we are almost there. Come on, attack here, miss. Uh, it's probably not enough. Yeah, this is not enough. That's for sure. Oh, please, no more golems. As you can see, it is a little annoying. Uh, you could heal the mummy a little bit more. can't use the lost soul it works only on others so that's why I'm completely ignoring her with the uh, the heals come on stop attacking the banshee yes they're afraid the 13 It's probably gonna die before we can even use the ultimate. Well, it's dead. So this world will be mine. I guess no one wants to see golems anymore. Uh, decent amount of parts, pretty decent. There are more parts with this one. Plus one dread, not exactly what we need. I mean, it's nice, but I'd rather get uh, evasion or luck. 
the lost soul. Let me actually check what uh, we're gonna do next. Here we can get items. And then we have another fight. How much experience do you have? I would really like to get to level 5 because then we can buff up the ultimate. This one is quite nice. Oh, and we have level 3. Actually, level 3. Uh, 3 talent points. But that's not enough. I thought we already had uh, the fate. Yeah, that's I'm a bit confused because um, how I, because I played off camera, so I'm not sure how far we managed to get here. Well, we go for the fate, then we go for the blood curse. So two more points for that. Um, as you can see off camera, I already managed to get one vampire, so it's almost there. I think before the next episode, if I play the other campaign for a campaign for a bit, I should have vampires available then. And we are much closer to bone golems. I'm uh, more interested in bone, go bone golems than vampires. But well, let's uh, take you. Switch. I probably want to work the era to statue. Uh, library can wait. I want the mana. Okay. Plus 5 evasion, it just gains 4% chance to acquire extra parts. This is a good one. Then, plus the initiative, stacks up attack. No, that's not what we want. Plus 3 dread for extra. Uh, this is specific to position 4. It gives dread, and we don't want dread on position 4. So, I definitely want the demonic essence. I'll take it as tribute. And we will give that. We only have one shade, right? Just double checking. So I want to give this. We are on 15. Took evasion. We want to stack up as much evasion as possible for the passive procs. Uh, let me check here. Accuracy, resistance, luck. How am I building this bench? Because off camera I'm testing two different builds. One crit based, uh, stacking up luck and one evasion based, stacking up as much evasion as possible. And the Evasion one feels actually a bit more reliable. The fights take longer, that's for sure. But I was able to stack up like 40 plus evasion on the bounty. It's almost impossible to hit. What are you gonna do here? Resistance, luck. We already are stacking what? This initiative? This is. Oh, wait. Uh, we are already stacking luck from this item. Here we have evasion, attack is useless, luck. So, combination of many things. I don't like that. Evasion items are a little bit easier to get from my experience, so maybe I'll just go for the crit build here. I mean, the golden tooth will give us the extra vigor. Later we'll just replace it with something better. We need to replace the dust, the ectoplasm, and the heart. And the heart, I think, we'll have to wait for for a decent rare one. What about the dust? Mm, nothing. Uh, 
Okay, so I guess we are done. What do we do? We find we found the book right last time, so might as well it use it. My Extra experience. Features. And go. I'll just start burning through the wards. There, the wards are gone. We'll have to get rid of the mage because that makes it so much more difficult healing anything when he constantly keep remo keeps removing our wards. Um... Just get the wards for the shade. We want to deep up this guy because it's gonna move him or not. Yeah. Actually, pretty annoying comp. English hope. Extinction of life. No, it actually doesn't matter, we want to move this shade to the reserve anyway, so actually that's fine. Well, let's try again. We really need him to move. There we go. Ow. Here is time. Oh, I can't reach him with the ultimate. Uh, are we debuffed? Nope. Yes, the die first. Nice crit. Oh, come on. Increase the maximum amount of bigger by 25. Don't care. Receive block and ward at the start of each turn. No. Mm. Oh, this can crit as well. I didn't know that spells could crit. Well, now I know. Die, die. Hmm. I guess we'll just keep warding. Definitely gonna need uh, to heal up the zombie. Oh. Okay, please die finally. No, this one it's boy, much it's easier when we can finally start died. healing. I'd really like to get the sudden reality up, but I think healing is a bit more important. Nice. I 
I think I can kind of ignore this guy because most of the time he's going to be attacking one of them. So I'll just use the ultimate here. Wow. Holy moly, that hurt. What is the... Firing terror. Oh, that's the extra action now. <laughs> Your cries are music to me. Hmm. Oh, just keep healing. We need these three to stay healthy. Don't care about the lost soul, as long as it doesn't die, of course. Um... Maybe I'll craft this one into nice. furniture. And those, oh damn, those shields and wards are stacking up. Oops. This might take a while again. What's the easiest way I can remove it? Distinguish hope. Rot their flesh and their soul. What's the perk? Oh, that's the bonus from the items that we have equipped. Okay. You will soon embrace your new existence. Well, if you just keep critting him, then the ward is completely useless. It's important he didn't die yet. I need to get one more heal. That was like six As crits in the row. Yeah, uh, we got so much experience because of the book that we used for this fight. And Gambon chip, chip, I think, is uh, consumable as well. Quite useful. Okay. Now, we have level 5 for, for the Banshee, finally. So we are stacking... I wanted to stack up the luck, right? But I think I'll still get some extra evasion from the morbid hole uh, because the other option sucks. There is no improvement compared to this. The only difference, unless I missed something, is that this does two to three magic damage, and this one does three to four magic damage. I mean. Wow. That's an upgrade for ultimate ability and you get plus 8 attack with that. So, I mean that plus 8 attack applies to the magic damage. So, yeah, that will get the damage to... What? To like 11 to 12, which is better. But, I mean, it's still ultimate. I expect a lot more from it. And here, the important part is the plus 6 evasion, which is actually huge. And also the fact this interrupts stances then. It's, on, it's only 50% chance they skip their turn, but it works, uh, or it targets everyone, right? So I, this feels just so much better, even though less reliable. I don't know, just this part feels so bad. Serve me well, my minion. Also, how often are you gonna use the ultimate, right? From this part, you always have the evasion. From this part, you get the what you want from it, like once every, what, five fights, four fights? Just... This just sucks. Uh, now... We want... You back. 
How are you? Oh, wait, no. That's not what I wanted. How are you doing? Good. We need to get some level ups before the boss. Um... Uh, Can I get another shade? Shade, 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 shade. Here. Dust. More dust. Rags, of course. This requires all the materials that we don't have. I will cast a long shadow over my foes. Hmm. This is this changes the ability to single target. This increases the damage and leech by three per target. I'm thinking plus fifteen health is a little bit better than plus one armor in this case. My enemies are in for a nest. Also, I like the AoE more than just single target. What are we doing? Now we get the experience, but we have three talents, so we want the blood curse. And then we want to get the finger of death. That's actually pretty broken. My magic will you have shake any items that would increase chance for enemy to run. This increases the chance they go insane. Uh, I mean, I guess enemies gain 20 vigor until uh, battle ends. You get six additional common points. Yeah, this is a great item when you are going after uh, sanity because it doesn't give them anything. Finally, this item finds its way into my capable hands. Okay. Deals 44 to 52 and more stress damage for each point of negative luck. This is just the flat dread increase. I think I'll just uh, stack up flat damage on the zombie and uh, crit on the on the banshee let me check the parts used actually they are completely different except rags maybe i could stick up luck on the zombie so that plus 10 luck is huge extend all debuffs uh afflicted enemies by two turns but it's so important. Now let's let's go for the eternity of torment. Twelve. You'll be able to get like thirty luck in the more thirty. 538 luck maybe can we get luck anywhere else no no let's go for it. I expect results and here we want to take something that allows us to dodge attack so evasion would be ideal Hmm. don't see stats that I'd be interested in. So what about skills we are using? Oh, this is important. The black light. I think here, yeah. The black radiance that uh, increases the debuff to minus 30. 
Now, prove yourself worthy of my investment. Okay, how are we doing experience wise? This shit is behind. And here, this is what we need because we are getting, I think, to experience per fight. So we should get uh, the lost soul to level 5 before the boss. Um, I think if there's anything we have to do before we continue, I don't think so. 56 mana. We have to make sure that we get enough mana after this fight for the boss fight. So, Elite Spearman, or how it's called. Mage, that's annoying. And no spells. Uh, wow, this actually is... Wow, this is annoying combination. I have to move the Swordsman back. Hmm, I kind of need the initiative. Speed of thought. Uh, now we deep up. Um... I need to pull this guy forward. And again, start stacking up wards. I have a bad feeling about this fight. Hmm. The swordsman has to die. Just too much damage, never mind. Savor these last few heartbeats. Again, I'm just doing this to move this guy. Break the stance. stances let's debuff this one no 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 okay, okay. good he missed more wards too bad just surprised he didn't miss and now it's important that we use uh, the absorb curses because we have quite a few debuffs on us it's actually quite tempting though
Okay, how do we how do we move forward? Um, let's play. Oh, nice! The upgrade was great. Your cries are music to me. Okay, let's move these two forward again. We're breaking the stack. Oh, that hurts. So. This is what a thousand years of evolution looks like. <laughs> Pathetic. Resist initiative before starting their turn restores ten percent max sanity to self and all allies. Wow. Look at that, 50% chance to, to stun and we stun what, 7 out of 8 or 6 out of 7 or something like that? Hmm, how are we gonna do this? Because I need to use the dark gate. I think it's time for the grand deception. Move all the way back. You will be worth something in death. Honestly, I'm considering using the Absorb Terror. What is the debuff? Chance to flee increased by 20% each turn. So basically, we can just do this get the mana and he'll just run away at some point this is not exactly something i want to use Strength through pain. This is better. You don't want to give them the extra damage. Let's wait. Oh wait, this is the last last move that I have. Hmm. This was stupid what I just did. Oh, 
I guess we're going to be doing some healing. Come on, just run away. The chance to flee increases by 20% each turn. Can I see the... Oh, here. It's not like additive plus 20%. It's the 20% from, from the current chance. Oh, I misunderstood that. And again, the zombie is going last. Oh. their flesh nice. and their soul. This will be Let's your break the stats. End. Now we can start healing. And we move forward once more. Now we are back in the starting position and now we just end this. Fifty-nine. No, it has to has to be flat twenty. I'll just try our luck. Maybe we get lucky and crit. Ashes to ashes. Something like dust that. To dust. Okay. Now, what I should probably do is invest some of the mana. Crimson hunger. Get that vampire. Ow. Shouldn't he be like running at this point? Please don't die. Should I? Okay, the zombie should be fine. But let's give her some wards anyway. It's interesting that with 100% chance to run, he's not running. Ooh, I hope there will still be enough left to reanimate. Come on, give up. And the Luvian evil comes for you. I need him to run. We're not gonna do this anymore.
So we're going to keep the debuff up and Come on! No, no, I didn't want to crit with the debuff. I wanted my vampire. It was interesting that he didn't want to run with 100% chance to run away. I'm not sure if I have an item that prevents that from happening, but I don't think so. No, there's something wrong. What did we get? Three rags, that's great. Oh, we are getting only one experience per fight. I thought we are getting two. Uh, yeah, what, 77 health. Well, we will have to do. So next time we go after the boss. Off camera, I'll do some alchemy, some distillation. And uh, we'll upgrade hopefully all our minions with uncommon parts so that we activate, where is it, the bonus from the amulet. That will give the lost soul a bit of extra survivability. Uh, what about here? Uh, we have what, 44 souls? I could build the abode of wrath. Do you want to see how many parts we are left with? If you have enough parts, I'll probably build the abode and work it. What do we need for that? The night. Or we could go for a level 2 Eratus statue. We're probably gonna need that. But well, I can think about that off camera. For today we are done. We had some pretty long fights, but as you can see the composition works quite well. Fights can be long, but most of the time we didn't take, or in the end, we ended up basically, as we started it, we were able to heal almost everything. It's just the lost soul that you have to sometimes switch because it can heal, uh, can't heal itself. And we are still far, far away from uh, uh, like being done with the builds. Some of the minions don't have the the better parts and i'm not talking like legendary parts even uncommon parts make a huge difference so yeah there is definitely uh, some scaling that we can work on but for as i said for today we are done so i hope that you like this episode i hope that you're gonna join me next time again and until then have a good time bye bye